All right, fellas, today's topic, we're talking about how men's shorts should fit. What's good, y'all? Steve from the Dapper Aristocrat, where every Tuesday and Friday, we give you tips on how to look good, stand out, and get compliments. If you're new to the channel and that's what you're interested in doing, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new content. So since I've been taking men's fashion and style very serious, one thing that I've learned is that the way I used to wear my shorts is not right at all. Back in the day, I used to wear my shorts long, and that's how I used to like them. You know, I grew up in the hip hop era. Baggy shorts, long shorts were the style. Thank God that's not the style no more. But now that I've matured and understand fashion and style, I honestly know how shorts should properly fit. So today we're gonna cover that. We're gonna look at how your shorts should fit. We're also gonna cover the different styles of shorts that we wear as men. Shorts come in different lengths and the way that you determine the length of your shorts is by the inseam. The inseam is basically the measurement between your crotch and the hem. Now shorts come in a variety of different lengths, but the most common lengths that you'll find are five, seven, nine, and 11 inches. Hey bro, all those lengths is cool, but what qualifies you to wear a five inch inseam? That's kind of sketchy. Now the length of your shorts are determined by two different factors, and that is your height and your confidence. Now height determines how long the inseam should be. Now taller guys have longer legs, so they require a longer inseam, while shorter guys have shorter legs and they require the reverse, which is a shorter inseam. Now where confidence comes into play is how short you wear your shorts. If you're a short, skinny guy, it takes a lot of confidence to get off a five inch inseam. No, that it take any guy to have confidence to wear those boys. So your legs have to look very good and your thighs have to look good as well. So a short inseam for a shorter stature guy, that will work for a gentleman that has muscular thighs it gives a great appearance and a great look. Shoot, I know that. That's why I don't miss them leg days. But for you skinny guys, you might want to go with a longer inseam. The same goes with taller guys as well. Comfort is important too. So if you're a guy that feels more comfortable with a longer inseam, that's fine too. The most important thing with this is that you look your best and that includes comfort and confidence. So an easier way to look at this is to look at your legs. Look at your kneecap as the main point. If your shorts go past your kneecap, then your shorts are way too long. Now one to three inches above your kneecap, that's where you want to be. Anything shorter than that is kind of risque. So you want to be careful in that range above that one to three inches because it's going to make you look like, look at them girl with the Daisy Duke song. And you ain't trying to be out here looking like that. Now you also got to consider the width of your pants as well. And the easiest way to do that is to choose the same width as you choose with your chinos. Now everybody has a different comfort level when it comes to the width and how their pants fit when it comes to chinos. I prefer a slim cut, but I talked to my friend the other day and he's not really a fan of slim cut pants. And so he prefers your more classic fit. Every guy has their preference. So choose your preference, but always remember, fit is king. Bro, you ain't never made no video where you didn't say fit is king. Now you got a few different types of shorts that you can choose from. The first style we'll look at are your chino shorts. Now these chino shorts are similar to chino pants. They're very versatile. You can wear them with just about anything from casual to a semi-casual look. So you can wear with anything from a t-shirt to a nice button-up oxford with the sleeves rolled up. You can also wear them with a variety of different pairs of shoes as well, from a casual dress shoe to even a nice minimalist sneaker. Denim shorts, some guys like them and some guys don't. I like my denim shorts to fit pretty slim. I like the way that the shorts look when I roll the leg up. A lot of times when you buy denim shorts, they come too long and they're always past the kneecap. And that's why I like rolling the leg up because it gives people the illusion that I'm taller than what I am. Plus it looks good with a nice V-neck shirt and nice pair of sneakers. Now swim trunks are another option, especially if you're going to the beach, but a lot of guys wear swim trunks as a regular short. Shoot, bruh, I cut the net out of mine because I like to be free. And I think it's pretty stylish, but one thing that you have to consider is that when you're choosing the tops and the bottoms, if you go with a short that has a pattern to it, always make sure that you wear a solid color shirt and vice versa if you wear the opposite. Cargo shorts are very controversial as well. Cargo shorts? Man, all the guys that's wearing cargo shorts are them sloppy dads, man. And a 
thought of what a dad looks like is not very stylish at all. But you don't have to look like a unstylish dad to get these shorts off. What? If you're a fan of cargo shorts, make sure that you know that fit is king. Now, gym shorts is the area that I struggle in. A lot of the shorts I have are basketball shorts. And you know, basketball shorts back in the day, the style was long. They went past your knees, they were baggy, and that was the look. Today is different. Shorts are worn above the kneecap. When comparing a pair of my usual basketball shorts, with a pair of shorts that are the proper length. The shorts that are out of the proper length look better on me, especially when I'm working out in the gym. When you're working out at the gym, you want to see your results. And wearing long baggy shorts don't show that. It doesn't show the way that your legs look and it also throws off how your top look as well. Plus, I think if your shorts fit properly, you look like an expert, you look like a trainer. Come on, bruh. A trainer? Even though you might not be a trainer. Bruh, not a trainer though. You still look like you belong in the gym versus somebody else with basketball shorts. They look like they just started working out or like they just got out the bed. Please make sure you hit that like button. Also, let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section below. Shout out to all my dapper crats out there. Thanks for watching. Always remember to be a gentleman, stay dapper, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday.